Yeah, yeah. Kia ora. Yeah. Uh, ko yeah. Trey Puta Mataku Ingoa, ko Manae Te Maunga, ko Whangarei Te Renga Wharaua, Te Moana, ko Takahiwa Te Whenua, ko Patuhara Keke Te Hapu, ko Ngā Puhi Te Iwi. Uh, what's going on fam? My name's Trey, um, also known as MC Black Sword, when I'm um, on the microphone on stage. And um, I'm a local MC from Whangarei. Run to the sun, not the darkness. Where the pop fans means no return. You can be heard, just say something. Speak up nice and clear, say something. Here is love, here's protection. Here's the safety net just for you. Choose the future. Choose the well, I'm a product of um, hip hop, I guess. Uh, before I came out the womb, my siblings were already breakdancing in the 80s. So I came out um, immersed in hip hop culture and then I got into graffiti as little young teens do and want to wreck stuff and, <laughs> and tag and do graffiti bombings and that and um, so that was that part of the culture and then I got into um, emceeing as a teen and writing my own rhymes and like a lot of people just recording music in the bedroom and then um, yeah I eventually met a guy who gave me a chance and gave me a lot of um, exposure to performing and six years later here I am man I'm doing what I love to do and, and my biggest influence now uh, once upon a time, it used to be a lot of American um, American music. Like uh, my favorite MC is Nas, but the thing that motivates me now is my family and my community. Really, so I'm, I'm at the heart of myself, I'm a really big fan of supporting my local community. Not only musicians, but my community as a whole. And I try to get involved as much as I can. And from what I see, from what I hear, my own personal stories, other stories, like um, that inspires me to write music. And hopefully, um, what I write. Um, even if it touches one person and they have some good feedback, oh, I'm happy, man. I'm doing my job. I want you to hear this is the truth. People love you and want you to know. What I enjoy about it is thinking something and then writing it all down and then going into recording it and then going on stage. Like that whole process. When I'm actually performing, I think, man, I just thought about this. This was a thought, and now it's a real thing. I'm on the stage and I'm sharing what was in here with everybody that's not in here. You know, they're out there, and yeah, it's um, it can be quite empowering. You know, whether people feel it or not is neither here or there. It's, for me personally, everything that I'm performing in music, all my songs, is like they all started in here. And then here is really crazy. So, <laughs> Yeah, it was cool that I, um, that's what I enjoy about it is that I can get all my thoughts out from here onto a, onto a piece of paper or on my cell phone and then I can record it using the awesome technology that we all have access to today and people don't say no when I, uh, well, no, that's a lie, people always say no to me, I'm used to the taste of the concrete, so that's cool, but when people say yes that I'm allowed to perform and be a part of it, um, I always say thank you for supporting local hip-hop because here in Whangarei, now, um, the hip hop community have a very small voice, but like I said, I got a big mouth, so people can hear me, and hopefully, I can help um, grow the community. Not only the hip hop community, because there's a lot of hip hop artists here, more the aroha within the community, because that's what's lacking is um, the support for one another. Do that, do that. Huh? Oh no, you don't want to do that. No, you don't want to do that. Why you wanna go and do that, do that, do that? Well, I'm from a different time of hip hop, you know. Like I'm from a time period where lyrics really, really meant something and really, really meant a lot. Whereas now, I don't think people focus on lyrics so much. But yeah, like I said, I'm old school, so I keep that um, really close to my heart. But the thing that I think people who like to, or like artists who like to perform and stuff, is that they don't perform. Um, I really like my pet peeve is seeing MCs and rappers who can rap really really awesome when they're on stage but they just stand there and I think that's an aspect of um, getting out on the stage and performing live is that um, artists don't use the stage they don't walk around they don't communicate with the crowd they basically don't use their hands and their body language to express what their lyrics are saying and that's a big thing to me yeah I have a big mouth too yeah 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 what's going on yo My valuable words of wisdom, or the gems that I'm going to drop today, are don't follow what you see that's trending. You know, don't go and jump in and think, oh, that's popular, so I'm going to go and rap that way. Or I'm going to make my things look like that. Because, I mean, people think that's cool, but me personally, man, you're jumping into a pool where a million other people are already doing that. And, like, um, just 
be you, do what you do. If people don't like it, tough. Find people who do like it, you know. Even if it's a small little crowd, niche, at least they're there for you, supporting you and what you do. Yeah, that's what's important. It's not about numbers, man. It's about having good people around you, a core group that are really there for you and keen to see you succeed. And in turn, um, as a person who's out in public, in the public eye, you can help push your people. And you can all grow together as a unit. And that's what I've always been about. And you know, that's what I'm still about. And I'm very fortunate to have great people like Low Budget Brotherhood um, <laughs> behind me. And a lot of other awesome community organizations that are just, um, yeah man, it's amazing how they're keen to support me. And I'm very, very grateful. <laughs> I better get my shades on, I got the red eyes to see, sun shining down on me. My vision for the future is that um, I just want to keep doing what I'm doing and hopefully influence my local community, man, because um, there's a lot of youth rangatahi out here who are kind of walking around in the dark and I believe that a lot of them love hip-hop, but they're not really um, exposed to that and, and in the right light and they're not connected to the right people. So um, that's part of my thing is that hopefully my music, not only my music, me as a person, I can reach out and touch them and say, hey man, you want to do this? You know, come along, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll help guide you along. And I'm, I'm connected to some awesome people that are local and are doing great things. And yeah, I'm keen to just support people. But um, one thing that I do do is that, and a lot of people think I'm crazy, is that I like to speak out loud to myself and just so I can hear it the positive um, what I'm saying positively and I'm putting it out into the universe and lo and behold man here I am rocking at Matariki I've got my peoples with me um, I got a lot of great support and, and that was just from me saying hey I'm going I want to do this and here I am you know I've got an awesome sponsor Cat City they're a local brand here in Whangarei and um, they were keen to support me and yeah I just said I'd like to get a sponsor one day and here I am, man. So talking to yourself, you may think it's crazy, but do it. Shout out to all the local organizations that support me and um, give me opportunities, man. You know, because that's the best thing is that I guess um, I'm fortunate enough to have opportunities. But it wasn't easy. It did not come easy. I had to grind and be told no 99 times before I got that one yes. And if you can get up after those 99 no's, man, you are going to go and do very well because you'll have a hard and skin then. You know, just no is just another step closer to the next yes. So if you're out there and you're an artist who wants to get on your grind, man, definitely do it. Get connected to the right people. Find people who really, really believe in what you're doing and really, really want to support you and are down for your cause, man. So peace to everybody out there. And love and light, much success, and nothing less. I got that red eye disease, sunshine down on me.